What's poppin' gamers? Welcome back to Hooked on You, a Dead by Daylight dating sim. Uh, I don't remember what happened last time. It was a long time ago. <laughs> so we're just gonna dive straight in. <laughs> um, after breakfast, you head to the hot tub by yourself to clear your head. Yesterday was, in short, a lot. Before you get there, though, something catches your attention. You hear that? Who are you dressing? Me? Well, yeah, I guess. That's okay, right? You know, I might be pursuing a relationship with one of these four fine killers, but it feels like the person I'm getting to know the most is you, narrator. It's really okay in so much as I serve, as it serves to illustrate that you've lost your mind, seeing how I'm not real and all. Yeah, I heard it this time. I think it's coming from behind the bullshit. No, no, stick it in there. A little more, a little more. Oh yeah, that's it. Yes. How does that feel? Intense. I don't know what that said. Yeah, that feels right. This is uncomfortable. Now, I want you to take it and put it right. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Just like that? Yeah, exactly like that. I swear I had no idea these two, these two even do uh, whatever they're doing. Uh, I'm afraid to look. Please say something so they know you're close by and can hear everything. Uh... Oh wow, look at this super cool bottle of Trickster brand sun sand lotion someone left on a chair. Anyone know where I can buy some? Damn it. Oh, come on, a little privacy, please. Dwight is panting and Claudette has a crazed look in her eyes. Sorry, I didn't know how else to let you know I was here and that I could hear you. Well, you know. Know what? What do you think we're doing here? You were doing. I I don't exactly know what you were doing, but it sounded like, uh, fun? You think two people trying to find new ways to kill each other in a desperate search to make their own death permanent is fun? Oops. We get five minutes to ourselves every day, and we spend it hoping if we stab each other in just the right spot, we might not get resurrected. I've come to believe that the key to finding the exact place we need to bleed out from, and I believe that place is our appendix. Why else would it be there? I mean, shit. No, she got a point. Let's be completely fucking honest. Makes sense to me. Did you actually think we... Me and him? Dwight? <laughs> you don't have to laugh that hard. They get it. <laughs> My life is a nightmare, and yet somehow it never... It's never been worse than right now. Oh, let's go, lover boy. I noted in all our entry wounds and our five minutes is... I, I noted all our entry wounds and our five minutes is up anyway. Good luck, Colton. You're gonna need it. And hey, if you figure out how to escape this island, please make sure to let your ghosts tell us how. That was both a tragedy and a comedy. A cragmedy. Ah, oh, shit, I skipped one again. Fuck. Shut up. I like it. Anyway, where were we? Oh yeah, you're headed to the hot tub by yourself to clear your head. Yesterday was, in short, a lot. So far, today's been exhausting too. But you're dedicated to achieving a true centered self se sense of calm. No drama, no bullshit. Just soaking up the sun in a heated pool. Today you're on a date with you. Ooh, I like that. I want to be on a date with me. Who would make the first move? And aside from that disturbing thought, I was going to plan it until a shadow blocks your precious sun. Spiky tip like a palm tree is bending over to screw with you. But it's no tree at all, it's... Hey babe, breakfast is weird, huh? Everyone's just getting up and announcing how they're feeling. What's that about? Some forced kind of check-in with the group? I don't like it. Fishy. Kinda lazy. Whatever though, breakfast is dumb. No one should eat before noon or after 4pm. Yeah, I do intermittent fasting. You see my abs, by the way? Maybe you can see them later in my private stage on the other island. You know, IP Island, where all the Hollywood celebs hang out, if you play your cards right. I could give you a private show. Catch you round. His abs are pretty amazing. Gotta give him that. And the blow up bat, threatening but adorable. Makes for an interesting silhouette, genius design. He's a psychopath, just like the rest of them. You don't gotta give him anything. And we're not best friends just because we have a little talk about doing a little talking. 
It's not an open invitation to go smashing the fourth wall every five seconds. Am I cat fucking with my green screen? No, okay, good. <laughs> okay, wait, I don't think you guys have ever seen Soren. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. Look at this baby. Look at this stupid idiot. I love him, but he's awful. You good? See? There he is. He likes to fuck with my green screen, though. So, if it ever gets knocked over randomly, it's this asshole's reason. Fault. That's the word. There you go, buddy. Ouch. Ugh. Okay, now that the guy is gone and we've got some ground rules established that we're definitely going to abide by, it's time to lay back, take some deep, slow breaths, and... Nope, oh, another shadow. These people will not leave you alone. Let's see who it is this time. Oh, it's Wraith. That checks out. You two have gotten pretty cozy. Hi. Sorry if this is, uh, too forward, but, um, do you want to get out of here? I know a place that's, it's kind of, I mean, it's got, it's hard to explain. Actually, it's kind of weird. You know what? If you want to go somewhere else with someone else, I totally understand. But if you want to see something weird and interesting, um, let me know, I guess. You've been around Wraith long enough to realize that this rambling speech was actually him being incredibly brave and asking you out. But before you can decide if you want to go off of Wraith, the spirit interjects. Listen to that word vomit. It's like he truly doesn't even want you to say yes to him. Is anything he... Sorry, I had to make sure he wasn't fucking with it. <laughs> It's is anything he says real really You should get off go off with me instead because I'm not some kind of fake ghost pretending. I don't like things I'm a real ghost and I hate everything But not you I'm not saying I like you but well I could Wait, hypothetical. I know you like a challenge so come get it. Oh I I read that wrong it should be I know you like a challenge. Not, wait, no, it should be, I know you like a challenge, not, I know you like a, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Tough choice. You weigh your options quickly because you can only go on one date today and you also don't want to be hacked to pieces for saying, for saying the wrong thing. It's always good to remember that these are all cold blood killers, but you know what they say. When life gives you lemons, you make lemonade, baby. And then die a horrible retching, writhing death after drinking it because the lemons were poisoned all along. You know, the standard saying. Sorry, this island has really got me tilted. So, who will it be? Um, obviously my boy Wraith. I, I, I gotta go with Wraith. Wraith? Yes. I, I picked you. Sorry, I stopped paying attention. And then I thought I was hallucinating. And now, uh... Really? Yes, really. Cool! Going on a date with Wraith, baby. Going on a date with Wraith, baby. Here's my island hangout. This is what I call the Cosmic Dump. I know, I know. It's one of those first draft, gotta change the later names that just kind of sticks. Dump is being kind. It's a massive collection of seemingly ancient ruins that simultaneously appear to have been recently abandoned. And a little beat up. There are stone obelisks, strange carvings, ritual tables, and... Is that a car? Warren, please don't fuck with stuff while you're back there. You know you're not supposed to be back behind my monitors. It's pretty weird. Like a collection of things from different, uh, I don't know, places. You look around in awe, then look at Ray, expecting more of an explanation. This very long, very awkward pause. Try and look cute. You dig your toe into the dirt, trying to be cute. Wraith is too busy averting his eyes and dying inside to notice. After what seems like an eternity, Wraith- Sorry, no. Hey. I love you. Fuck off. And after what seems like an eternity, Wraith finally manages an entire sentence. So, uh, you- I mean, uh... What- What brings you to the island? You- You smile cheekily- Cheekily, and you practically purr. You- Wraith covers his face and excuses himself. You can overhear him doing breathing exercise and giving himself a pep talk, pep talk in the woods nearby. He comes back flushing. Sorry, I had to, um, check on... Pee. I had to go pee. 
Wraith looks at you with his always sad puppy dog eyes, searching for something to say, anything to talk about. He clears his throat. I have something very important to tell you. It's about something very special to me. It's not something I tell everyone, but you know how important honesty is to me. I can't expect that from you if I'm not honest in return. Oh, great. I bet he's got crabs. It's about my special bell! Aha! Uh -huh. What? It belonged to my father. He gave it to me before he, um... Before he and my mother... Well, they had to go away. If I was ever in danger, I was supposed to ring this bell. It, it didn't really work. But it's all I have of my family with me. Wow, Wraith. Thank you for telling me. Wraith bolt... Wraith bolts it out! The bell, you per... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even think of that, but thank you, game. Uh, well, I just think it's really nice you picked me to hang out with, and, um... <gasps> bell! Wraith gives it to you. The bell, he gives you... <laughs> oh, that's so fucking funny. The bell! He gives you the bell. Get your mind out of the gutter. Jeez. I want you to have it. Please take care of it. You know how much it means to me. I promise I'll take such good care of it. This is the sweetest gift. Wraith smiles, but even when smiling, his eyes seem sad. You smile back, knowing what a gift he's just given you. I mean, it's kind of shitty because you can't really do anything with it, but it means a lot. Not to you, though. To someone else. Still. Cool gift. You both search for something to say, anything to talk about. During the awkward silence, you look around the dump, spotting some kind of ritual table stained with blood and littered with various bottles. Nearby is what looks like some dangerous potions. Was What was this ancient cult up to? Potion? <laughs> looking to shake up this... Date? Is this a date? Yikes. Anyway, looking to shake it up, you approach the bottles and pick the fanciest one. So what should we do next? Um, I feel like drinking the potion is just gonna kill me. Wait, can I save here? <laughs> I, I can't, I can't save here. Let me save, please. Hello. I wanna, I wanna save scum this. Um, mix the potions. You take the potions and start mixing them. Wraith would probably like a science lesson, right? Your new mixture starts to smoke as Wraith's eyes go wild. The glasses explode, taking out each other, other bottles in a domino effect of highly poisonous liquid and sharp. Tiny sharp shrapnel. Wraith closes his eyes. You run up to him and shield him from the explosion. Wow, you certainly know how to, uh, make sparks fly. Whoa, Wraith with a double entendre. Kind of lame, but I'll take. What the fuck is the definition of double entendre? I've heard that before so many times. You find double entendre. A word or phrase that is open to two interpretations, one of which... Oh, I see. Because I was literally making things explode, so I was making sparks fly. But it was liquid, so there probably weren't any sparks. Whatever, I'm reading too far into it. They were liquid, and things were exploding. The liquid doesn't matter. They were exploding, so sparks were flying. But also, <laughs> between he and I, you know, that get. That guy, me, that guy, me, <laughs> sparks are flying. <laughs> Whoa, Wraith, I already read that. <laughs> Wraith nervously smiles. His, he's endearingly awkward. So, I guess, um, tell me about your family? I remember my grandmother. Not much, but she had a certain smell that always made me feel safe. If it's possible for inky blackness to sparkle, it happened within Wraith's eyes. I remember my grandmother too. How she kept me safe. The wrinkles in her hands as she held on to me for dear life. How she soothed me during. Wraith's eyes water as he trails off. Grandmothers are the best of us. I'm glad we share that bond. Wraith? In the lore. Like in the Dead by Daylight lore. Wraith died in like a car crusher. So when would his... When would somebody have been holding him... Uh, let me, I'm gonna double check that real quick. A few moments later. Alright, so it looks like I was wrong. 
Um, so he came to the country. Anything for, he was happy. He got a job at the Auto Haven Records. Uh, he didn't care that shady business took place. One gloomy day, he noticed that there was blood in the crush car. He found a guy was being killed in the crusher. Uh, he snapped at his boss, threw him in the crusher, and pulled the head and spine out of the body, which is the which is his axe, obviously. Um, so, yeah, I guess he didn't. So I guess I don't know how he died. I feel like I feel like it says in the game, but I don't know, whatever. Uh, ha, double screen. Oh, uh, there we go. <clears throat> the sexual tension in the air is palpable. Or maybe it's just regular tension. Hard to tell with this guy. You look around for anything to distract you. Sure is a beautiful night. Hoping it might turn into something a little more hands-on. You lay back and look at the stars. Sure is a beautiful night. <laughs> Wraith joins you and starts soliloquizing about the constellations. I can see you well in the dark. I can see well in the dark, so I'm pretty good at picking stars out. How about you? You think you can take me on with constellation trivia? Oh, I do love space, but I wasn't much of a constellation guy until recently. Feeling invigorated by the sight. Fuck. I've learned a lot laying on my back, looking up at the sky. I've learned a lot looking up, looking, laying on my back, looking up at the stars, that is. Alright, let's see how many of these questions you get right. Deal. Question the first. This constellation roughly translates to Sea Whale, and is located in a region of the sky along other water-related constellations. Probably Aquarius, right? Aquarius? <laughs> oh. Nope, it's okay. Maybe you just need to warm up. Okay, question the second. What do we call the constellation located in the ecliptic, or the, or the path of the sun? Probably the zodiac, right? Okay, you got it. But that's a pretty easy one. Last question, question the third. The constellations that were first described by Nicolas Louis de Lacaille... Lacaille? Lacaille? Nicolas Louis de Lacaille. Eh, that's probably close enough. And roughly translates to pendulum clock. Does Wraith kill me if I get this wrong? <laughs> I don't know. There's no shot it's the Big Dipper. Right? Translates to pendulum clock. I speak a little bit of French. That's obviously a French name. Nicolas Louis de Lecaille. Or this one. Nice, I got it right. Two years of... Four years of French, but it was kind of like... The same two years twice, because it was like... Easy French in high school. And then second French in high school. And then easy French in college, and then second French in college. So like... Two years of, of French? Great, nah, it's impressed. Okay, I thought that was tough, but you got it. Good job. You got two right. You want a medal or something? At least now you know the Big Dipper isn't a constant. Is it not? Is the Big Dipper a constant? What? Is the Big Dipper a constellation? Oh! So, the Big Dipper is itself not a constellation. That is because it is part of the constellation Ursa Major. So, like, it's part of a constellation, but it's not a constellation. That was fun. Thank you. You feel like... You feel like you're warming up right. You're war you're You feel like you're finally warming up right. So you unleash the big guns. Um... You wanna play Truth or Dare? Wraith looks mortified, but tries to keep it together. Maybe this is progress. Um, I guess so. But only if I can ask first. Deal. Truth or Dare. I feel like Truth is more interesting for the video. 
Just then I get like more interesting stuff to read. But dare to give me a mini game. I'm gonna go truth. How about a truth? How about a truth? If you were a plant, what kind of plant would you be? <laughs> Why can't I answer it truthfully? <laughs> Great question. Aw. What the fuck is a rhododendron? Excuse me? I, I'm sorry, I have to look up so many things today, guys, but... Rhododendron... Those are so pretty! It's apparently, like, in the same family as Azalea, so just think of Azalea's if you know what Azalea's are. I know I didn't until I saw a rhododendron. <laughs> Alright. Uh, rhododendron. Very flowery description. I thought it was funny. I don't think Wraith cared for it, though. You bet he can't woo me. You can't. Truth! If you could date anyone on this island, who would it be? Wraith buries his face in his hands, so embarrassed. <laughs> what was that? He looks up at you, stone-faced. I hate this game. <laughs> Whoa, buddy, I get it. This is pretty weird and kind of a slapdash. But there's no need for insults. A lot of people worked very hard on I think narrator buddy. I think he meant I, I could be wrong. Pretty sure that he meant truth or dare. Oh yeah. Cool. Sorry. That's the game. Here I'll go. If I wasn't here, I'd be on a date with spirit. Great bushes. Great bushes and smiles. Honestly impressed he can continue to blush even more. How is he not passed out? Um this is a date? Now it's your turn to blush. Uh, yeah. Great smiles and looks up for a few seconds. Then, I'd pick Spirit 2 or maybe Claudette. But she and Dwight might be seeing each other. I don't know. You both laugh. And guess what? It's not even awkward. Wraith clears his throat. In a way, a lazy writer could make fun of him. Could make him do... In that way, a lazy writer would make him do if they wanted to signify something important and different was coming up. Let's see. If... Okay, I get it. Do you have my bell? I want to show... Is he about to go invisible? You were right. Take a drink. Is this not a drinking game? Damn. Missed opportunity. Wait. I don't drink alcohol, but I can go get a drink. I can take a drink. Give me a second. Five minutes later. All right. I'm back. I got some good old-fashioned dihydrogen oxide. Um, stay hydrated, friends. And also, I know it wasn't part of the game. I also got some string cheese, so we're going now, baby. Let me put these fucks back on. <laughs> Is this not a drinking game? Damn, missed opportunity. Of course I have it. You reach for it, but it's gone. Um, Wraith furrows his brow. Uh, Wraith furrows his brow. I swear, I had it. I don't know what could have happened. We'll need to find it. Or... Claudette... But Claudette and Dwight burst in and interrupt. Seems like they have a very dramatic announcement. We have a dramatic announcement! See? Told you. But it needs to take place at the beach. I, I cannot figure out what voice to do for them. I swear. You read the... How long have we been recording? 25 minutes? I just have a whole thing about getting water, so I'll play for a little longer. <laughs> you arrive at the beach, but something feels off. You can't quite put your finger on it, but you feel uneasy and cold. And here's why. Spirit appears out of nowhere. Hey, Colton. Bet you didn't expect this hot piece of sass. What? Goth girlfriend that can't make silly, sexy puns from time to time? You, you can. Dwight and Claudette, scram. Yeah, I use those two simpletons to dupe you. You're too easy. Maybe because deep down, you wanted to be duped. There's no way Wraith can keep can be keeping you happy. Spirit's usual disaffect, disaffected nature has given way to some combination of disgusted and desperation. Sure. And it's kind of working. Wraith's a fake. 
He's not even a real ghost. He only pretends he doesn't want people to care about him. But really, that's all he wants. He wants it more than anything. Ugh. Can you imagine wanting something? <laughs> so cringe. I bet he won't even tell you his theory about this island. What a fake. You deserve to be with somebody real. A real ghost. Someone who really doesn't get- God, fucking Wraith is very hot in this game. Oh, I'll, I'll give her that. Somebody who really doesn't give a shit. Someone who doesn't even care if you say yes or no to me. Sorry, no. You can see with the, through her desperate last attempt to win your affection. It's almost sad. You turn around and walk back to Wraith without so much as saying a word. Oh, that seems dangerous. Alright. That's for- let me take a drink for- what the fuck? Why does it look like that on the camera? This is a blue cup. Well, teal. Eh, teal? Baby blue? Baby blue. This is a blue cup. Why does it look like that? Alright, but take a drink for something. Alright guys, thank you for watching. If you- like this video, give it a like. If you like me or my face or my voices or just want extra content on YouTube, give me a subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!